Namaste. Good morning. There's this old like nursery rhyme and I I wanna just kind of sing it to you. It goes like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. <laughs> and oh, how beautiful it is. So I want to chat with you this morning about how perfect this dream life can be and how to effortlessly allow it to unfold in your existence. So, Jesus says this statement, and I think so many people, they're just missing, uh, they're missing Jesus in these statements because they're trying to doctrinalize what he's saying instead of just really hear the heart of what he's saying. And he says, unless you become as a child, you know, like, so in the story it kind of goes like this. Like, everybody's taking shit so seriously back then, and Jesus is chilling, and he's relaxing. And um, some children, they're wanting to bring the children to him for him to bless them and things like that. And, and the disciples are taking shit way too seriously. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. And they're stopping the parents from bringing their kids to Jesus. And Jesus says, what's wrong with you, man? Let them come. And then he looks at his disciples, who had just previously been arguing over who's better, who's like greater, and he looks at his disciples and he's like, unless you become like this child, like these small children, like these little babies, you're not going to see, taste, touch, hear, experience the kingdom that is now and that is within you to any degree. And for so many, you have this kingdom, the kingdom, ultimate reality within you. Like this is actually what you are. And you're consciously not experiencing it because this dream world, this dream life that you've been living hasn't been realized as a dream. You think that it's real. And so for so many, they think that this life is real and they're trying to religiously um, like move from the place that they're at into another place. They're trying to hope if they work really hard and they're really moral enough and that one day they'll be able to get to heaven or I'll be able to have 77 virgins or you know whatever and I mean there's serious shit going on around us you got COVID-19 all the economic disaster that's going to be taking place from the COVID-19 worldwide and who knows what's going on with your family Life, um, abuse, hunger, thirst, all over the world. And yet I'm here to tell you that the way that we shift this consciousness is to realize life is but a dream. For so many, life has become a nightmare. Because you believe that the dream is real. The dream's not real. It's here today and gone tomorrow. It's continually shifting and changing. You've been through financial issues before. It changes. It comes, it goes. Money's not real, man. The government prints, they're just printing money. The only reason why it has any value is because you believe that it has value. It's all a big monopoly board. And I mean, if you're playing Monopoly and you lose a bunch of money, you're not, you're not crying and screaming about it. It's just the game. Guess what? You're just experiencing game. It's a game. The money you pull out of your wallet 
it's not real. I know that it buys real things. It'll buy you some carrots or it'll, you know, pay your rent or mortgage or whatever, but none of that's really real. Carrots will spoil. Your house can burn down or you'll sell it and get it something different or you'll move. Like none of it's ultimately real ultimate reality this uh you know the truth aletheia ultimate reality and that will set you free is uh, unchanging reality and so it's not impermanent and you can check out the link above on impermanence but i really just want my heart for this morning is just for you to recognize with me how much life is a dream and so if you go back you know, just to your childhood, go back to when you were a little kid and you're just chilling in the crib and you're sucking your thumb and you're rolling around and you're goo-gooing and guy, 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 bah, 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 bah. you're just having fun and you're laughing and playing and giggling and just enjoying the moment because you're not overthinking shit. You're not thinking too much about life. You're bringing in sensory information and processing, but you're not overthinking life. See, the moment you realize life is a dream, you are set free from the nightmare that this dream has become. This is what Jesus meant when he said, you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The moment you realize everything that you're experiencing is an unfolding of a beautiful dream that's happening within ultimate reality, within the kingdom, then you're free to no longer experience it as a nightmare, but to experience it as bliss and as joy and as peace. And like that little song goes, you can just experience it merrily, 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 merrily. It becomes an effortless float trip down the river of life instead of this vigorous paddling upstream trying to make something happen for you maybe life's become that nine to five grind or you know worse you know like a you know a five to nine or two. so many people are working their self to the bone working their ass off to try to get somewhere that they can never get because the only place you can ever be is right here <laughs> right here in this moment and so i just want to encourage you to Realize right now, there's grace here right now for you to realize life is a dream and begin to perspectively, your perspective will shift and then your energy shifts in this dream so that you can begin to attract the things you desire. Because when you feel worry and you feel stress and you feel anxiety and you feel fear, those are negative energies that are attracting things that you don't want in this dream world. And that's the reason why your dreams have become a nightmare. And so to begin to shift, you have to shift the perspective and then all of those things change. And so now you're experiencing bliss and joy and love and peace. And it's those energies that are drawing to you the things that you want in this dream. The only difference between a nightmare and a blissful dream is your perspective and the energy that you are carrying in it. So I love you. I hope this helps. Drop whatever questions you have in comments below. I'll be happy to respond or do a video to chat about that. You're so amazing, man. You're so divinely perfect. So I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Subscribe to my channel and let's shift global consciousness together also check out the daily video series right here hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and remember the more you awaken the more you play